Well, here's an interesting little experiment. Um, basically, this is the Edward Leed Scalin permanent placement holder, or whatever you call it. And it's really simple. It's just a piece of, actually, it's off of my fence. It's a little piece that you put on a chain link fence, and all I did was cut it off and bend it into a U. And then I wrapped one, one layer of, I think it's number 23, magnet wire on top of it. It's uh, I measured it out and it's about uh, 30 feet but it's just one 30 feet total altogether, all together both sides and this is a um, the way I wrapped it is I did a, a, a reverse wrap so I wrapped this this way all the way to the bottom and then I came across on the bottom and then wrapped it the opposite direction all the way up and this is a this works on two AAA batteries so it's not drawing a lot of current I'm sure it's drawn more than I'm making here but um, so this is a little um, rotary magnet diametrically magnetized rotary magnet um, tube magnet and all it is is just uh, it's just put on the shaft with a with a piece of paper just to just to take up the gap and hold it in place and, and it wobbles just a little bit I don't know how many RPM this runs at maybe 2000 maybe I I'm not sure but okay well let me um, and this is this is set on 20 AC volts it's on 20 and and I'll do milliamps too in just a second so this is this is um, 30 feet of magnet wire on like an Edward Lead Scalin type permanent placement holder. And so this is 0 0.89, 0 0.9, and I can get it all the way to, to 1. It really bogs the motor down, but so it really. It likes to run at about 0 0.93, 94, 95. Okay, so it's almost one volt. Pretty close to one volt. And I'm going to switch to to milliamps here. So I have to move this. And I'm going to put it on the 20 because it goes over the 200. Oh, okay. Oh, went too far. This is 20 amp. And so I'm going to turn this on one more time and find out how many milliamp I'm running when I get down into the throat of this. So I can make it go all the way to, to a half an amp, but it likes to run at point, you know, 420 milliamps. And the interesting part about this is that it this little bit of magnet wire in this uh, opposite configuration, one coil goes one direction, one coil goes the other, puts out almost an, a volt at a half, oh, half an amp, half an amp at almost a volt, which is I I think that's a lot for this this little thing, and it's worth further investigation. All right, guys, have a good day.